And joining the conversation now, our panel today, former UK MP George Galloway and New York Times bestselling author and president of the Schlafly Eagles. George, you know, since the late 20th century, it seems like the U.S. has, has consistently been engaged in war somewhere with someone. Now that Afghanistan has fallen and, and U.S. troops are out, from an international perspective, does it appear that the U.S. is trying to provoke China? Well, you'd have to be a certain age, and if you were, you might call this the Galloway and Martin laughing. But this is no <laughs> laughing matter. It's a bitterly cold winter, which ought to be a moment to pause and reflect on Napoleon and Hitler's decision to fight wars on two fronts. The decision of the White House, and I agree, it's not the Pentagon. This is all a diversion from the abysmal failure of the Biden White House, the plummeting opinion poll ratings, the prospects for the United States are not good. So, hey, look over there. In fact, look over there in two places. We've got two enemies, both of them hypersonically nuclear armed superpowers. Anyone who wants to go down this shipping lane or this path needs their head examined. I tell you, this would be the last war, and the United States and its allies would not win it. Ed says he wants military superiority. This is Dr. Strangelove territory. There is no more uh, military superiority, as the ragged-assed men in sandals, otherwise known as the Taliban, just showed the United States in the last couple of months. It's as if that's been consigned to the memory hole. So wake up, America. This path leads to perdition.